Hello and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, I'm going to introduce you to a feature that we have in preview right now that allows you to load local data into customer insights. So if you're doing a demo or proof of concept or something where you have local data, um, or you just don't have data that's out on the internet or a place to store it on the internet for access to it, this feature may come in handy for you. Now there is one requirement. Um, the user that's going to ingest the data does have to have a OneDrive that is accessible to their account. So here, if I go up, you'll see I'm using Docs Admin, this admin account. If I flip over to my OneDrive, you'll see that I'm also using that same account here. And you can see that there's uh, some stuff out here now. Uh, just this apps folder is all that's here. So I'm going to go back to Customer Insights. And I'm going to go ahead and say Add Data Source. And I'm going to use Power Query. I'm going to call this D365 data. And what I've got is um, I have this uh, file, my active contacts from Dynamics, um, that I'm going to bring in this way. Uh, so let's just assume this is a data file that we got from someplace that we need in Customer Insights. And this is the only way we have to get to it. So it could be a text or CSV. In this case, it's an Excel workbook. It's going to work the exact same way. I come in here and I choose Upload File. As you can see, that's in preview. And I can grab it and drag it. I could just click Browse and browse to it as well. Um, now, if it's anonymous, it's going to fail. You're going to get invalid credentials. So what we need to do is click Organizational Account and then click Sign In. Now, this is probably going to prompt you to log in. And you'll go ahead and click the user account that you want to use. And once it's done, you'll get the next button. So the rest of this should look really familiar to you if you've used Power Query before. It's going to come in since it's Excel. It's going to ask me, you know, which data do I want? I'm going to say my active contacts. Um, it's going to let me transform the data um, so I can come in and use all the Power Query functionality that we're used to to transform and do whatever we need to on the data. Okay, so now that we have this here, you can do all the fun stuff that you normally do in Power Query. So I'm going to say use first rows header. I'm going to choose the columns and get rid of a couple of the columns that I don't need. And then I'm going to rename some of these because they either have uh, invalid characters in them or all those fun things. So this is going to be contact ID it should be full name and you know what I'm also going to show you a little trick here if we go down to schema view this will make this much faster so I can rename this to first name because we don't have to wait for it to update all the data no. All right, and I'm not, I don't really care about the rest of these. Um, I'm going to leave them as the types and all that fun stuff. You, you could change all that if we wanted to. I am going to change the name of the query to contacts. And then I'm going to click Next, and we're good to go. Refresh manually, just hit Save. And our data is coming in. So now if we want to go see that data, we can go out to our OneDrive and you saw that we were back here in my files. We had apps. If I drill into my apps and the Power Query uploaded files, there is the file that we just uploaded through that connection. So that is how you can use uh, the new feature of upload to Outlook. I mean, sorry, upload to OneDrive to use local data in your customer insights project. So I hope you found this uh, useful and tune in again next time. Thanks.